were putting the floor in a while ago, we installed the seat so that we could tell where to put the floor and where we didn't need to so that we could hard mount the seat to the frame of the van. Then we pulled it back out to work on the rear cabinet and then it wouldn't be in our way too. It's much easier to get in and out of the van from the back as well as the side, easy access. Now we got it back in the van and we're gonna work on getting some storage underneath it. <laughs> Order, In building with earth bags, we discovered that our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. The reason we decided to stick with the stock rear seat was because it's comfortable for riding in and traveling in. Having these rear seats really comfortable, even though they're gonna have car seats on them, is gonna be really important for us, I think. So anyway, let's get building the box. Are you all ready to work? Oh, you're looking good. Looking very safe. <laughs> what can I do to help? Do you want to keep sanding and I'll start cutting and put stuff together? Yeah, put the frame together. Sweet. Okay, I missed my orbital sander. I'm gonna go get it. Unbelievable. You're still playing over here? You like looking up at the trees? Are you learning how to sand? You wanna try? Yeah! Good job! Oh wow! Did you finish that piece? You are a fast sander, kiddo. You need another one now? Here you go. Sand her out. You want me to get started for you? Ellie got all the framework sanded out, so now I'm just gonna kinda cut that up and start making a box. Let's see if this bad boy fits in here. Ooh, that's looking good. A little, little, little snug, but well, perfect actually. It looks good. Yeah. Let's figure out how far it needs to be pushed away from the doors when they're closed. And then maybe 
screw it in and start building frame around that seat now. Just in case she moves. This is the AC and heating system for the rear of the van. I'm gonna put the AC system in there just so that we have it in as reference. So when I'm building the box, I don't build the box over where the AC needs to go. consistently right, not consistently wrong. Well that's ideal, but at least you got the consistent part down. What do you think, darling? It's looking really cool, babe. Once we start getting those slats on, it's gonna come together, I think. You gonna clean up for the day? Yeah, I'll clean up. Get back at it tomorrow. The seat shouldn't be too hard to take in and out, and I need to finish the framing, and it's gonna be a lot easier without the seat in here. Sounds good. What's the plan here? Um, I think we're just gonna roll it all the way forward, twist and take it out upside down. I was picturing something much, much harder. You wanna sit on that here? Where do you need to finish this? Mainly right over in here, around the, the AC box. Framing's done. That looks so cool, man. When the monsoons start coming in, 
everything around here gets so green and pretty like almost overnight. It's amazing. You get a ton of weeds first actually, but then all the grass comes in underneath it. So you end up cutting down all the weeds and just have a nice green grass all over this place. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool how it can just change the appearance so much from the desert look, which is also gorgeous to the just vibrant green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's fun to be able to break the mower out for something other than cleaning animal pens and just hauling a trailer around. It's fun <laughs> to actually use the mower for what it's intended for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now that we got those two that I needed to notch screwed in, I'm gonna pull the seat back out and then we can actually get started on doing the bulk of the slatting. Nice. Is the seat gonna be hard to get out now? I'm not really sure. I think it's gonna come out just like normal, but we're gonna about to find out. Okay. Is it time to do the smart thing in life? I think it might be. We're gonna go ahead and polyurethane in here because we're thinking ahead. Once we put this top on, it's gonna be really hard to get in there. Yeah, we're being smart. Hey, you coming to help? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You gonna dip it for me? Yeah, okay. I like your little ponytail there, kiddo. That is nice.
thinking is we'll run pallet boards here, this little spot, and then they'll be trimmed for a door over the front. plate about the first eight inches of this. And the rest of it will be a box that has like a step up. That way when the bed folds down, it'll be level with the bed. Perfection, my love. We are going to be insulating around the wheel wells here, but I have to go to the store to get the right installation, um, so we'll have to do that later. It's going to stay open though until we get the boxes built, and even then the boxes will actually be removable pretty easily too, I think. Thank you. Ready? First try, it's gonna fit. Okay. Well, maybe maybe just maybe you just need this. <laughs> I may have installed the top pieces just a smidge long. Unintentional, of course. Yeah, so we could get the super flush. Yeah. So are you breaking out the skill saw? Yeah, to get super flush. This is the, this is the trick to it. There you have it. Super flush. Perfection. And it, it's like doesn't even make a mess. Final little piece here of the front. Oh, not bad, huh? That looks really cool. This piece here doesn't get closed in because there's going to be a refrigerator and a stove top over here. These are doors, obviously, and the open sides are going to be our side boxes. Coming together, babe. Should we paint underneath those boxes just so that it looks nice and we yeah. can kind of see what we're working with? Yeah, let's do it. Hey you guys, Helper Kinsley. Oh. <laughs> Should we call your thing, kiddo? <laughs> frame built for the storage box in the back of the van. We're super excited to share with you our ideas for making the bed just a little bit more comfortable for Garen. 
If you missed it, last Friday, Bree and Jared worked on refinishing their countertops in their RV, and it looks really cool, so be sure to go check that out. And this Friday, Bryson's got some exciting stuff on the well drilling rig coming out. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, hi, dear. <laughs>